So I have in my hand some Reichenbach multi colour and we're going to use that as the base for the bead and then on my marva here I've laid out some uh, dark multi frit which we're going to also use as well to see what colour reactions we can get. So we'll start by making a small base bead in this multi. So these Reichenbach colours are worth investigating because you can get some really amazing colours with them just by going through hot cold process in the flame and they're much less expensive than a lot of the other reactive glass so if you want to have a play without spending a fortune this is really the glass for you. So we're just heating this barrel up and then I'm going to roll it and then push this. Then you're going to heat the frit up to so melt it into the base bead. And I really want to get some heat getting through this glass. So it needs to be worked very hot and then cooled. So the frit on there has gone a very dark purple and there's a slight orangey beige colour that's come over the bead which when I flash it in the flame when it's cooler will go into darker colours I hope. So there's dark colours coming through there. See purples at the top, but blue with purple stripes in there. So then what I'm going to do is encase this, just lightly encase it, just to seal those colours in. So starting at the top of your bead, Working down. And then we'll just heat up the encasing.
And now I'm going to put some twists in there. So I've pulled a, a small clear stringer with a pair of tweezers earlier. And I'm just going to spot heat where I want to do my twist. And I'm just going to twist in the bead. Wait for it to cool. And you'll see there's a little twist in there. <clears throat> so then I go to another spot on the bead. Just spot heat in that area. Give it a good twist. Do another one up here, so again, spot heat where you want your twist to be. Give a little twist, and this pulls all the surrounding frit to make quite pretty patterns. And if you just wiggle the stringer once you've twisted, it should just break off. So we've got, at the moment, we've got three twists on there. I could put some more in if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as that. And then we need to just melt those in. So I don't want to get the bead too hot. So gently work over those areas that I've twisted. And obviously you could do this without ink it I mean use your twists, leave your twists so they're nice and raised, that might be quite nice too, it's like a nice organic bead without the encasing, but I think it looks nice with a little light encasing on there. So I'm just going to finish shaping. So you could put another layer of encasing on there if you want to, and that would just magnify what's going on under the glass. But for the purposes of the tutorial, we'll just do the one encasement. I'll just let that cool a bit and I'll show it to the camera. 